Today marks six months since the death of George Floyd. His death sparked nationwide cries for justice, reform, and retribution. The four former Minneapolis police officers charged in Floyd's death are scheduled to stand trial together in March. Derek Chauvin is charged with murder. The other three are charged with aiding and abetting. Six months later, very little has changed at 38th and Chicago in Minneapolis. The intersection remains blocked off as people gather to remember Floyd and continue calling for reform. Others that live in that area have concerns for the future, especially as we head into winter. Hear what they have to say about safety and travel in that area tonight at 6. Minneapolis police will be changing the way officers can execute warrants. The new policy requires Minneapolis to announce their presence and purpose before entering during a warrant at home. As Kate Raddus reports, police departments across the country have been under scrutiny after Breonna Taylor was shot and killed during a no-knock raid. This is really about proactive policy making right now. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry says although a judge can still order no-knock warrants, the vast majority of MPD warrants will now require announcing their presence and purpose before entering a premises. The new policy comes eight months after 26-year-old Brianna Taylor was killed during a no-knock raid at her apartment in Louisville, Kentucky. The tragedy of Brianna Taylor's killing has undoubtedly added to the collective consciousness of this particular issue. Um, that's obvious. Now, we are, however, trying to be just proactive. In 2007, an armed SWAT team from MPD raided the wrong Minneapolis home, busting in on a family of eight, leaving the home riddled with gunshots. Seven officers were placed on leave. Mayor Fry says now the only circumstances that will allow a SWAT unit to enter without notice will be extreme circumstances, like a hostage situation. There's been so much injustice done. There's been so many things that have been uh, covered up from all police departments all across the country. And finally, people have just said enough is enough. Mad Dad's Minneapolis president and community activist V.J. Smith says the policy is a step in the right direction, but said it will require educating residents. Then you have a right. You have a right. If the police did not, you have a right. So, but we have to educate people so they know that. Smith acknowledged avoiding no-knock warrants could also come with risks to officers in certain situations, but said ultimately will do more good. Usually criminals know what's happening, but there's innocent bystanders and innocent people in those homes that don't know, so a knock could save a life. Kate Raddatz, WCCO4 News.